<laughs> That's for Amasio. <laughs> Who's ready to dance Saturday night? That's why I came here. I came to dance. You know, Ramasio, I'm, I'm sitting back there and I'm thinking, man, did he not kill it? You talk about energy. I love energy. And you know, people, people praise me and Lisa, you know, for being consistent. Five days a week. How many people have been on Diamond Zone? Okay. It's a big deal. I get up at 7 in the morning. I do a, a one-hour webinar. Then people say, oh, my God, you're so consistent. You do opportunity webinars Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. You're unbelievable. Do you guys understand something? If I wasn't in someone's living room six days a week, and doing hotel meetings seven days a week in five cities a week, I wasn't making money. And I'm being praised here to do a webinar? <laughs> Am I missing something? How many people relate to what I just said? Yeah. Every day, meetings and, we used to say meetings, parties, and trainings. Meetings, parties, and trainings. Every day. So I get up at 7 o'clock, I have my coffee, and we talk. It's coffee time. That's it. It's just bringing people in. Okay, I got off track, and I'll, I'll do that a lot tonight. But here's the deal. How many people were at the opportunity presentation last night? Okay, you heard my story, right? Let me give you my story very briefly, because I think your story is very important. Because your story sends a message to who you're talking to. So, very briefly, I'll give you the three-minute version. Okay, didn't go to college, barely made it through high school. Age of 19, started working for the largest health and fitness chain in the world, Bally Health Clubs. Entry-level employee, making $3.35 an hour, climb the corporate ladder. After nine years of climbing the corporate ladder, I got promoted to vice president of sales and marketing for Bally Health Clubs. During this nine-year run, I had gotten married, Okay, met Lisa Giamala, hottest thing in the world. Okay, am I not right? You better applaud for that one. Okay, we met, she was my boss. And we all know the joke, 31 later, nothing's changed. 31, 31 later, 31 years later, nothing's changed. She's still my boss. Okay, but here's the deal, guys. One year after I got my promotion, my company went into a corporate downsizing mode. Listen to the messages being sent, which meant my pay was being affected in a, ne in a negative way. Lisa gets involved in network marketing. I was dead set against the decision. Long story short, two years later, she retired me. <laughs> two years later. So Ramasio's asking about, okay, the women in the room? The women are the power in this business, period. <laughs> Period. Okay, and that's the truth. Okay, because without Lisa making that decision, where would I be? Do you know when I was at Bally's, I was making $180,000 a year? Not bad, right? The person that took my position when I left was making 90. Half the pay, twice the work. Then the predecessor, after that person, he was making 60. Now Bally's is no longer. You guys get it? So Lisa made a decision that changed our life. Okay, got involved in our first network marketing company, became multimillionaires, did very well financially in the industry. And we always tell that story. But you think it was always a rosy picture? Lights going off, you heard Lisa. Tears. The reason we're successful is because we've cried more than all of you combined. That's why we're successful. Nothing could ever penetrate us anymore. Nothing. But how many people be willing to take that journey of 25 years? 
my best day at Bally's. I screw this up all the damn time. <laughs> my worst day here is better than my best day in corporate America. Yeah. I got it right. And that's the truth. Okay, so when you look at this, here's what happened. Lisa gets involved. We make all this money. And you know what? We were with a company for over 16 total years. I was working out at the gym one day. And Jeremy Roma sent me a text message, and we got involved in the business. That's the truth. I got with a two-minute video. They didn't fly me all over the place. 24-year veteran got recruited with a two-minute video. And that's the truth. Amazing. What I'm going to talk to you guys about today okay, is really the simplicity of this business. Okay, and uh, listen, you got to write this down. It's two-minute video, it's two-minute video, it's two-minute video. But I also want you to understand, there are skill sets that you learn along the way so you don't waste your time. Okay, so when you look at this, here's what I do. Every time I talk to somebody, I put them in a box. Every single time. And here's my favorite question to ask somebody. If you ask this question, you could determine exactly what they make. You, could, you know exactly how to talk to them. Right? You know everything about them. You want to know the question? Ready? What do you do? What kind of business are you in, Chad? Answer before this. What, in technology, what company? Adobe. Adobe. Could I not put him in a box? What box is he in? He's an E. So I understand how to talk to him. Why? Because I'm an E. I'm an employee. How do you talk to an employee? What's their hot buttons? What do you think his hot button was? Did you listen to his story? I never saw my kids. I'm always traveling. I'm trading time for dollars. Can I not send a message to that person? to get him to be more open when I do go into the business side of this? This is how you set it up. I asked somebody a question. Ramasio, what do you do? I'm a business owner. Now, do I not know the answers to the test now? Do you all know the answers to the test if you're talking to a business owner? What's their problems? The business owns them. They bought a job. You follow me? Can I send a message to that person to get him to better want to understand what I do? Because it always comes back, doesn't it? It always comes back to this. When you ask them what they do, they're going to come back and ask you what you do. And then you spin your story. Okay, so every time I talk to somebody, guys, I put them in a box. This is all I do. Now, when you look at this business, okay, what I'm going to talk about now is something called your hypnotic rhythm. Anybody know what that is? Your hypnotic rhythm got you to where you are today. It's unconsciously something you do every day without thinking. And I'm going to give you a book to read. It's called Outwitting the Devil. I tell everybody to read it. I'm going to tell you how the book starts, and it'll give you the chills. But this is what we deal with every day. The premise of the book, it's Napoleon Hill, who wrote Think and Grow Rich, interviewing the devil. The devil, Lucifer, Satan, he's interviewing the devil. And here's how the conversation starts. <clears throat> he says, Mr. Devil, okay, I know you have all the answers, because you're the master of the universe. I want to interview you, and I want you to be as truthful as you can with your answers. And the devil said, absolutely. I will give it to you, but you won't be able to handle the truth. Remember that movie? He said, but if I'm going to, listen to this now, if I'm going to answer your questions, you must address me as your majesty. Napoleon Hill kind of took back sat back in the chair and said, why would I address you, the devil, as your majesty? You guys ready for the answer? 
gave me the chills. The devil said, because I control 98% of the people. And the book starts. You guys get the message? 98% of the people are controlled by fear and doubt. 98% of the people out there that we're going to deal with every single day have a broke, hypnotic rhythm. And here you come. And you're going to enter into their life. And we wonder why people say no. We wonder why some people don't do it. We wonder why people don't answer your text. you got to understand. Okay? You're that same person. You just made a change. Right? So I can I ask you all a question? How would you talk to you? How would you talk to you? You know how I talk to Jeff? The same way I talk to you on my calls. Very direct. I tell people what I'm looking for. And I'm not married to the outcome. I could care less. But I do also understand why people are where they are. Where they are. Do you understand this? 98% of the people are controlled by fear and doubt. And then the book talks about everything you're, that controls you. What we have to do, guys, is we got to change our hypnotic rhythm. If you want to do what Romasio Fulcher just told you, something's got to change. Some of you are still incubating. Some of you came here looking for, I don't know what you're looking for. You're going to get whatever you're looking for. I promise you that. If you came here to understand this business and you take notes, I love when people take notes, but you know what? If you're a professional note taker, you're going to be broke. Jeff, look at, I got all my notes. Who cares? I don't care. Can you show me what you did with the notes? Did you, did you do something today? Oh, I love this one. There's these chat lines now people are starting. I'm going to stump. I just, I got to get out. Okay? You know these chat lines? And you got one person answering every question in the chat line. Everything about products. Why the shipping is delayed. Why this is that. And I'm going, you're answering all these questions. Can I ask you a question? Did you send the text to somebody today? <laughs> it's amazing where we spend our time. And these are the same people that say, it's not working. It's the it that has to work. This works every single time. Does that mean everybody you send a text to does it? No. But you know what? It works. Let me tell you why. If you're doing something every single day, every single day, you are successful. Let me tell you your key to success here. You've got to find your little victories every single day. So if you have, if you're accountable to your activity, I could care less what your activity is. If you say to yourself, leaving here, I'm going to talk to five people a day, and you did it, you are successful. Praise yourself. Just don't expect to make a million dollars a month. You follow me? See, the biggest thing that gets people off track here is unrealistic expectations. You want to make Ramasio Fulcher money? You want to make Chad Natita money? You got to do what they do. Did you hear his first week? I was listening. 50 people first week. And how many people did you talk to? 500? Who would do that? Here come the hands. Right? I mean, would do it. I'll do it. Then you go home, and guess what? Here's the other voice. We all have the other voice, right? Listen, that's the devil. Every time that their voice comes in, he's trying to keep you where you are. That's the fact. You could call it whatever you want to call it. Don't, I don't want to get religious here because people get weird now and all that stuff. Do you understand where I'm coming from? That's the other voice. So when I'm talking to people, I understand which, which hypnotic rhythm they're in based on the box. I know their hypnotic rhythm. I know how to change it. I know how to talk to them. You know why? Because I do it every day. Every day. Practice. Do you think practice is failure? 
Anytime you're doing any activity, you are a successful person. You need to look yourself in the mirror, let me tell you why. Because most people who enter into this business do nothing. One third do nothing, one third are frozen, and one third will go to work. Even after you sign them up. And that's why we do what we do consistently. Because if you're not the one, you know what I want to do? I want to keep you in long enough to maybe you lead me to somebody else. That's why we do trainings. I've already determined this person's not going to do it, but maybe they'll find, right, a Ramasio down there somewhere. Do you know most of your leaders will not be frontline to you? They'll be five, six generations down. How did you get down there? Because you worked through this person to get their contact base, to get this person to get their contact base. And somewhere down here, here's the fire. And guess what happens in multi-level? Money rolls up. Are you working with your people? Okay, that's a, something very important. Okay, are you there every step of the way to help them get to team developer? Because what if they're not the one? Then guess what happens to that leg? Dead. Okay, I'm way off track, but I don't care. Okay? Who cares? Okay? Really? Burning desire. Let me tell you about my burning desire. Lisa got involved in network marketing. Two years later, she retired me. Do you know what happened? It took me two years to finally believe in this business. I quit Bally's, got a six-month severance package, and guess what I did? I played multi-level. Because Jeff deserved. I worked 14 years. So guess what I did every day? I went to the club, worked out, a little steam room, nice little massage, little lunch. Time to pick up the kids. Picked up the kids. There, crack a bottle of wine. That was a good day. And I just kept repeating that. One year, I did nothing. Thank God Lisa was working and we had a residual income coming in. But I did nothing. You know when I went to work? When the six-month severance package was gone. When the home equity was spent. When every credit card was maxed. And my back was against the wall and Lisa said something to me that gave me the chills. That created the burning desire. You want to hear what she said to me? You better go get a job. True story. I broke out in the hives. <laughs> she looked at me, she said, go get a job. You ain't doing nothing here. You're playing multi-level. Guess why? My ego. I couldn't get my hands around it. Here I am, vice president of 450 people one day. Next day I'm doing multi-level with my wife. Culture shock. I was embarrassed for one year. It's funny how that embarrassment went away when she said, go get a job. <laughs> so you want to create that burning desire? I just showed you how I did it. You got to find it. And guess what? From that point forward, I treated it like a real business. I worked it like I worked Bally's. Isn't it kind of funny? I work for somebody else. I'm working 12, 14 hours a day, seven days a week, never even think about it. I get involved in multi-level, and you guys are applauding me because I do an hour webinar once a day. Do you guys get this? We think we're working hard. Compared to what? None of you, none of you work hard here. None of you. Compared to what you gave into corporate America. Show me one person in this room, one, that works 12 hours a day. Non-stop. Well, I did. What's, what's going to make you go to work? And then like, like, like Romasio said, being coachable. Being dumb enough to be smart enough to listen. My biggest problem was my ego. Still got it. It ain't going away. Okay, that's just what it is. But you know what? I'm smart enough to be taking notes. Okay, and I'm going to take those notes and I'm going to apply them. You know how many nuggets I got today? 
I got three trainings from Mike Sims for Diamond Zone. I got three there. I got two with Ramasio. Okay, there's going to be five. Just different ways of saying the same thing. I just like the way he said it. It's communication, right? And then willingness to work. Willingness to work the system. And here's what we do, guys. We're professional introducers. I love that word. This was Lisa's favorite word. I'm going to be a professional introducer. Okay? Meetings, one-on-ones. Hilo.life is your best introducer. Launch calls, webinars, super Saturdays, and conferences. That's all we do. If you get good at this, you can't spend the money. Cannot spend the money. Think about what we really do. We get people to watch information. That's all we do. And then you got some people, oh, this is hard. I just, I just can't get my arms around it. It's called pick up the phone. Who said it? Was it Rabu? What are you going to do? Jump through the phone and knock me on my butt? Right? What are they going to do? But that's what we do. So you got to make your list. How many times have you guys heard this? In every multi-level marketing company in the world, step two is to make your list. And let me share with you something. The same people that are on your list are on other people's list. I want to create some urgency. Did you hear Rabu say he reached out to Mike Sims and Steve? Okay, he at least touched them, right? You know how many people I've lost because I didn't move fast enough? The same people in your cell phone address book other people are calling. And it doesn't have to be with World. There's hundreds of other companies that have those people on the list. Did you hear Rabu? No matter who called me, I would have got involved with them. It could have been, it didn't matter, it could have been Amway. He's in. Did you not say that? How many people on your list are thinking the same thing? They just have no way out because they're stuck in their hypnotic rhythm. And you never know who's looking. you got to create the urgency within yourself. How do you do that? Go back to your desire. And when you go out there, guys, you got to understand, I grade people. When I make my, my, when I make my initial list, guys, I want to know who on my list is a self-starter. Who's influential? Who's teachable, coachable, trainable? Who has financial resources? Let me ask you a question. Remember the cash flow quadrant, quadrant I just showed? What's the last one that we all want to get to? Investor, right? Investor. Well, can I get an investor who's a multi, multi, multi millionaire involved in the world? I can? He doesn't need it. You sure? Can I tell you a story? You gotta match the opportunity to the people you're talking to. In our previous company, we brought in Greg Norman. You know who he is? Greg Norman's worth 500 million. When I first sat down with Greg Norman, okay, I knew he had multiple streams of income. Do you think I talked to Greg Norman about doing coffee jazz mixers? That was our exposure. You bring people over to the living room and you serve them coffee. Do you think I told Greg Norman he's got to come to every event? No. You know what I said to Greg Norman? I said, Greg, you got multiple streams of income. You got a contact base. I go, can I ask you a question about your contact base? How many people come to you up every single day wanting money from you? He goes, Jeff, hundreds. I said, wouldn't it be better to give them an opportunity? I said, Greg, how many people do you have in your base right now where an extra $100,000 a year would make a difference? He said, Jeff, I could lead you to 300 people tomorrow. I said, sign here. We're going to give everybody an opportunity. And all I want you to do, Greg, is be the, you bless it, I got you on the back end. Would you work Greg Norman's base for him if you opened up the doors? You got a lot of Greg Normans, a lot of you, they're just on your chicken list. Do not pre-qualify anybody. I learned that lesson with Eric Dickerson. I learned that lesson with Mike Dicka. I learned that lesson with Jim McMahon. I learned that lesson with Tony Dorsett. I learned that lesson with every professional athlete we ever brought into multi-level, and lots of them. 
They didn't want to do the work. They're lazy, by the way. Athletes are the laziest people in the world. But you know what they'll do? They'll open up their contact base. And you guys are wondering who to talk to. Everybody. You just got to know how to match the opportunity to the person you're talking to. It's a different language. Where's the man that came on the stage? Okay, you, right? Am I going to talk to him the same way as I talked to Greg Norman? But a lot bigger desire, doesn't he? See, that's someone I'm going to go to war with. That's going to be the success story that I show on stage, getting him to $10,000 a month. Will you be willing to do what we tell you to do? Okay. He's going to be a worker bee. Greg Norman's not going to work the business, but he's going to open up his contact base. But he's going to have to learn the skill sets and go to work. Match the opportunity to the people you're talking to. That's how you do it. Okay. Now, this is how we do it. I had to get my arms around this, guys. This was tough for me. Really? Send the video? Jeremy said, J Jeff, listen. I'm not going to tell you something that's not going to work. And we started doing it. Every single day. That's it. But is it magic? No. But when you've got a product that nobody else has seen in the industry, do you see what happens? It betters your chances to get people whose antenna is up. I'm always looking for people who have their antenna up. You know what I mean by that? They're looking. And this is what we do. So if I'm sitting down with somebody, guys, and I'm working with a brand new person, okay, I'm going to be there every step of the way to help them with the follow-up. One of the best ways of doing that is understanding what's in your tool belt. If you're brand new, you're probably going to leverage somebody else that has brought you into the business because they're the expert. Here's all I ask from every single person that gets involved with us. Open up your contact base. And I got you on the back end. I like what I just learned. You put 10 people on a webinar, I'll do it for you. And by the way, I learned that today. I'm changing right now. I'm doing too many damn webinars with two people on the call. You're wasting my time. I just learned something. Will you even get on a call with less than 10 people? How many do you need? No, how many do you need to do a webinar? About 30. You see what happens? But I'll do a three-way call. I had a three-way call yesterday with a leader in another multi-level marketing company. If I said his name, you'd all know who he is. I didn't get him. Somebody else in my downline. And I asked this question. I said, before you put him on the call with me, has he seen the two-minute video? He goes, no, Jeff, no, no, Jeff, he's on the other line. I said, he goes, did he watch the two-minute video? I, he said, no. I said, got to go. Click. I hung up. Click. Why? I'm not going to exp explain the device. I could care less who he is. I have the opportunity. Listen, dude, I'm your opportunity. You're not mine. I don't say that. That's my posture. I have the opportunity. He doesn't have the opportunity. I don't care who he is. It makes no difference. But I want you guys, I'm not here to train on three-way calls. But a lot of you need to understand leverage. A lot of you are the lone rangers out there. Leverage this system, it works. Because a lot of you are lacking credibility. Right? Because you got to get your belief. Because when you have disbelief meets disbelief, what happens? Nothing. So here you are, someone excited, but has no belief, and they're opening up their contact base with people who hate multi-level. <laughs> then we wonder why we're not getting the results. You've got to insert the expert. You, let me ask you a question. Everybody on this stage, do you question any person, belief system that was on this stage today? Borrow our belief. There's nobody you could put me on the phone with that not, they're not going to hang up. I don't care if they do it or not. Here's all I ask. Do you believe I believe? Then I've won. I've won the battle. You're going to have to win battles, guys. 
Someone says no to me, they're not saying no to Jeff. They're saying no to themselves. They don't say no to me. No one's going to say no to me. How can you say no to me? Let me tell you why. Because you, you know I have experience. You know I have belief. And I just know they're not ready to change their hypnotic rhythm. I got it. Next. That's what you got to do. How much time do I got? Okay. So, guys, this, I'm going to go through this. But here's one of the most important things. Number one thing that brought you to the dance is the number one thing you stopped doing. You got three balls you want to juggle. You got the recruiting ball, you got the development ball, you got the training ball. One thing's for sure, never drop the recruiting ball, ever. But the number one thing we want to drop is the very thing that we know earns us money. Because we think, okay, we're done. Who just said it on stage? I think it was Ramasio. He's going to go double president again. Was it you, Ramasio? Mike Sims said it, right, Mike? He goes, I'm going to do it again. Why not? Just secures the income. So when you guys go out there, friendshipping is very important. Two per day. Minimally, you got to keep putting two people in your funnel every single day. Minimally, two people. Because if this dries up, watch this. You go out there, you do what Romasio said. You make $10,000 this week or this month, $2,500 a week. But if you weren't filling up your funnel every single day, guess what happens month two? What you do today sometimes does not harvest for 30, 60 days. So you got to keep filling up your funnel. So the friendshiping phase is so important. You ever figure out why we say start with your warm market? You know the answers to the test. I'm a firm believer in answers to the test. I used to think, you know what, why does the teacher just tell me how they got the answer and I'd figure it out? That's just how my mind works. I'm not that smart. Okay, so understand this. If you put your list together, don't you know every, every person that's in your funnel, people that you know, personal friends, don't you all know what they do? Right, your acquaintances, your referrals, people you meet. Couldn't you put them in a box? And then could you not figure out how to talk to them? Because you know already what they do? Because when you look at this, guys, here's what I want everybody to understand. I always listen more than I talk. You know what my three-way call is? Asking questions and listening. That's it. Because I want to find out everything about the person. I want to build a rapport. Okay, and Lisa's the master at this, by the way. Lisa is the master recruiter. She doesn't qualify anybody. She talks to every single person. But you got to have, guys, you got to have a full funnel. Every single person. That's why we say when you first get involved in the business, everybody here, I guarantee you, you have three to 500 names just in your cell phone Rolodex. And be honest to yourself, just right now for just one moment. Have you talked to every single person? Has every single person received that two-minute video? Then why? How come? This is our business, right? So when you fill up your funnel, guess what happens? People start falling through the funnel. Because all I want to do, guys, is I want to create in interest. But I got to work with urgency. I tell people every time I do a presentation, we have an 18-month window. This is my estimations. Don't quote me on this. I believe we have an 18-month window to build a base before competition comes in. You all know competition will come in, right? We're not going to be the only game in town. But you've got to work with urgency. You've got to practice your approach. You've got to practice listening to people. You've got to understand, we're in the people business. My first mentor said this. He said, Jeff, once you learn the people business, you can never be broke. And he's 100% right. You could put me in, in a multi-level marketing with widgets, uh, screws, I'll still make it work. Because I'm, I'm not in the product business, I'm in the people business. And the more problems I have, the more money I earn. Because every person comes to us with what? 
problems. They're coming to us to solve their problems. So all I want to do is what Ramasio said, I want to move quickly. Watch this. Okay? I send the two-minute video. I do my follow-up. And the person says, hey, Jeff, sounds really good. Okay, but I need more information on the product. Hot, warm, or cold? Who said warm? They didn't say no. They said, okay, I might give them some more information. I said, Chad and Atita, the two-minute video. And they say, oh, my gosh. We've been looking for something. Man, this just got us almost in tears. Hot, warm, or cold? Hot. And if someone starts asking, what does Jeremy say? No resistance? Next. Those are cold. Put people in a box quickly. Move quickly. This is a, a business of speed. Okay? Now, creating interest. How do we create interest within people? I'm not going to spend a lot of time here. Send them the two-minute video. That's all I do. That's how I create interest. But the other way you create interest, guys, is by sharing your story. A lot of you can't even say your story. you got to tell people why you're doing this. The benefits of the business. Do you know how many people stop dreaming? you got to sell the dream. A lot of people stop dreaming. They've given up. We're giving them a vehicle to dream again. What's that worth? So this is how you create interest. But that two-minute video right away, hot, warm, or cold. Then you go from there. Okay? Now. When you look at this business, we have an unbelievable opportunity. And I love this slide. And I'm going to show everybody here today how to get more premium packs with BioZen. Premium packs with BioZen. Okay? How much is the premium pack? $2,000, right? How much CV do I get? Sales volume. 800 with loyalty. If I add the BioZen with it, how much SV do I get on every sale? $1,300. How many people do you need doing that to get to Diamond? Like can I tell you why you're not getting premium packs? You don't know what's in your product. You think what's in this product is your heart rate. You think what's in this product is is the, is the blood pressure. You're talking about blood sugar stuff we don't even have yet. And a lot of you are getting excited when you just get involved. you got to understand the value of this business. To understand the value, you got to know what you're really selling. I'm selling, I sell an opportunity to get people to own their own business. This is what's in your product. What's that worth? Having a business with no overhead, no accounts receivable, no employees, but the same tax advantages of any other business. That's what's on your wrist. I'm giving people an opportunity, and what's in my watch is a way to make immediate income. What would it mean for somebody to cover a car payment, a mortgage payment, a child's tuition? This is what's in my product. It's being driven by what? Wearable technology. $34 billion market. You know what's in my product if I'm talking to an employee? A way for them to not have a glass ceiling. A way for them to be paid what they're worth. Have you ever determined what your worth is? Anybody in this room? If I said to anybody in this room, here's a blank check. Pay yourself next month. What does it say, Doc? Is that a right or wrong answer? No. I said blank check, Doc. Okay, good. I said blank check, though. Okay, you know what my answer was? My first mentor asked me this. I was working for Bally's. Most I ever made was $15,000 in a month. He said, Jeff, here's a blank check. Pay yourself. I, he goes, what is it? I said, 20000 Most I ever made was fifteen. I thought, well, if I can make twenty, I would be paid what I was worth. He said, Jeff, I said, blank check. 
See, I had a, always a mentality of a cap. Because Bally's was not employing me to make me financially independent. I had to think differently. What it would be worth to get involved with us just to have an opportunity to be paid what you're worth. 14 years with Bally's. 12, 14 hour days, I got a six month severance package. Thank you, see ya. This gives me an opportunity for residual income. You guys following this? Let me give you your statistics. This is from, this is from your IRS. 75% of people age 65 years or older have to rely on family, friends, church, or the government just to survive. Three out of four, family, friends, church, or the government. 23% have to go back and work in their retirement. Isn't it kind of funny that's 98%? Think about winning the devil. That means 2% are okay. 1% can maintain their standard of living, 1% is wealthy. So there's a 98% chance of everybody you, you talk to is going to retire, either with getting another job or having to rely on the government. Fact. What would it be worth to give people an opportunity to have residual income? Because I don't care who you are in this room. At some point in your life, here's a real question you should ask yourself. Maybe this will create desire. If you lost your day job tomorrow, everybody, how long could you keep your same standard of living? And you've done that for how long now? 20, 30 years? The average person is three months, two paychecks, two paychecks away from being street people. These aren't my numbers. So what would it be worth to have residual income? And you know what we provide? I think this separates us from everybody. A training system. McDonald's gets $1.2 million today for their franchises. Do you think they're buying the taste of the hamburger? Or you think they're buying the system? I'm going to say it again. McDonald's demands $1.2 million for their franchise. The average McDonald's franchise owner earns $150,000 to $180,000 a year. Can we put this in perspective, please? I believe your parents, Natita, make a million dollars a month, income disclosure, right? If you took the same philosophy of McDonald's, what would this business be worth? $12 million. And you're not getting premium and BioZen? You got to understand what you're selling. Well, look at the heart rate. Watch this. Look at my EKG. Ba boom, ba boom, boom. Isn't that nice? I've yet to demonstrate the helo. Half the time, it's not even charged. They go, how do you like it? I go, oh, it's great. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Ooh, man, that's a great product. Okay, can we talk about really the real issue? Do you think the McDonald's franchise owner buys the McDonald's because he loves the taste of McDonald's hamburgers? If you do this slide, you will get BioZen and premium packs more regularly. You've got to show people what this opportunity really has. Now, does this have more value now? I promise you, I promise you, the company that we came from, the buy-ins were from $5,000 to $600,000. You talk about front-loading. If we had $200,000 deals, deals here, I'm telling you, you would get $200,000 deals with this product if we could sell $200,000 deals. A sale is a sale is a sale. It's the same effort. Go after and make sure you at least show the premium pack with the BioZen. But only do it if you really take the time and show people what's really in your product. Now, now how, how hard is it to be a presidential millionaire? 
You guys got it? That's how you do it. Okay? I'm, I'm, my time's up. Okay. okay? Hang on, hang on. Last slide. Only way to improve your skills, guys, more people into the system, okay? And the only way you improve your skills is to talk to more people. Friendship with more people gets all messed up. Friendship with more people or improve your skills. That's how you do it. See, I did the PowerPoint. <laughs> Who cares? That's the other thing. Are you, really? Friendship in or people. Listen, let me give you some advice. Stop taking yourself so seriously. Go have fun. Screw up. Say the wrong words. Cuss once in a while. It's okay. Stop caring what other people think. Done. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Players. Right now we're going to be having a panel discussion, so everybody participating on the panel, please head back to the stage, and we're going to be showing you a video right now. Hi, I'm Shay Lisa. And I'm Tim. And we are Diamond, Diamond World, World Changers. Changers. Boy, when this blessing dropped into our lap, end of October, beginning of November, we had no idea how it would have changed our lives. And these events are so important because the wisdom, the knowledge that comes from our leaders, your leaders, all of you are of our team. So you know what I mean? It's like being the part of the 